This is Code.org. I'm currently working on Hour of Code, Minecraft, and Voyage Aquatic, which is um, their new course. So I'm on part nine. Let's see what we have. You made it to the reef. Yes, we did in the last level. Now search for Heart of the Sea. Ooh. Use the blue and red coral to reach the treasure chest. Okay, let's see what we have. Some quick reminders, here's our blocks of code that we can drag over here to use. This is our workspace, obviously instructions, and then the game area. Let's see what they have for us. Oh, okay, there's no actually uh, code they started us with. All right, so we want to now search for the heart of the sea. Use the blue and the red coral reef to reach the treasure chest. Hmm, so that stuff must do something special. Um, all right, so let's use some of our knowledge, too, from the previous uh, levels. All right, so I want to start by moving forward. And I want to move forward a bunch. And then I'm going to want to turn. So the easiest way to do that is when we know we are going to repeat code, repeat until goal. That way we don't have to enter something a bazillion times. What this does is the program hits this and says repeat until goal. Okay, I'm going to run whatever code is in here until you reach the goal. So repeat until goal, move forward. Okay, move forward. Are you at the goal? No. Move forward. Are you at the goal? No. And it loops back around. All right, I'm going to try to count how many times I move forward to know what I need to do next. Four, five, oh, six. Uh-oh. Oh, and this is the downfall. So I didn't reach my goal, but the computer's just going to keep repeating it forever. And ow, ow, ow. All right. So now if I can put move forward like five or six times, but there's an easier way to do this we learned at the level, and that is with uh, in the previous levels, if statements. So this if statement, you are asking the computer to check something for you. If standing on blue coral. Okay. So if I'm on blue coral, and what do I want to do? Do I want to turn left? Do I want to turn right? Do I want to move forward? To me, it looks like I would want to turn right. So if I'm on blue coral, I'm going to grab this, put this in here, and turn right. And I just want to review what this is doing. So we hit run, repeat until goal. Oh, okay, I'm going to repeat this code, says the computer. I'll move forward. Okay, character, move forward. I had to move forward one. Then the computer says, if standing on blue coral. So the computer checks. All right, is character standing on blue coral? And it answers, no, no, it, they are not, or yes. Let's say it's no. Okay, no, they're not. Then it skips to the next code, which is the bottom of this. The bottom of this means it goes back to the top and move forward again. If standing on blue coral. And let's say this time, yes, yes, the character is standing on blue coral. The computer then drops into this and says, okay, turn right. Then it goes to the bottom of it, goes back around with me now facing right, and says, okay, move forward and checks it all again. And it keeps doing that until I reach my goal. Let's see where this gets us. Okay, good so far. Uh oh, oh, ow, ow, ow. Okay, so now I think this is a clue. Let's use another if, and if standing on red coral, where would I wanna go? Hmm, well it looks like if I go to the left, I'm going to use this and drop it in here. So now the computer is going to start repeating, move forward. If I'm standing on blue curl, I'll go right. But if I'm not, if standing on blue curl, right? If, oh, no, you're not. And the computer drops down to the next line, right, to the end of this if. And now the computer asks, if standing on red curl, okay, is the character on red curl? Because then turn left. Then it hits the end, goes back to the top, and runs through all of that again. Let's see what this does. Oh, great, we uh, we did it. So here is the uh, code that worked for me. Awesome, let's keep going. 